Cece here from the blog, Don't Pin That, about the bad ideas of Pinterest. Today's video is going to come in quite handy if you ever find yourself at a barbecue, a picnic, or wherever and realize you brought the bottle of wine, but you forgot the corkscrew. Now, there's several ways you can open a bottle of wine, even without a corkscrew. Some of the most common methods is to take it and just push the cork in through into the bottle of wine. I've also seen a method that uses a screw, where you screw it into the cork and then use something like the back of a hammer to pull the cork out. However, recently on Pinterest, I saw an idea that shows you how to use a shoe to open a bottle of wine. Curiously enough, I figured I would like to document this and post it on the blog and see is it a good idea or not. No, it will slowly pop out. If it works. You have to hit it dead on. Yeah. I, you the floor. I don't know, maybe it would be. a better tree. Well, that's not working. Let's try using it maybe on the ground, and then maybe we'll find a good sturdy tree or wall and see if that gets the bottom open. So here we are attempting to open it on the sidewalk as opposed to a post. Yeah, no. break this thing. Okay, and here we are trying it on a tree to see if we can get the cork to budge even a little bit. Maybe without this shoe. Did that break the bottle? Dude, if you're that desperate for wine. <laughs> seriously. Wait, you have to save that on camera. No, it's the moment's lost now. Oh. No, it's not budging at all, not even slightly. Okay. And my hand hurts. And I think I hurt the tree. Oh, poor tree. Do you think this will work? Not at all, no. I think it's a good idea or a bad idea? No, I think you should just break the top off. If you're gonna if you're that desperate, then yes. No, okay, well unfortunately it. that actually didn't work. I was really honestly believing it was going to work. I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that demonstrated simply the force and pressure of smacking a wine bottle against a hard surface will actually pop the cork up and out. Now, we tried it on a wooden post, a concrete sidewalk, and then a really big sturdy old tree. My husband was unable to actually get the cork to even budge slightly. So, new theory that we're going to be testing out is that perhaps that w bottle of wine that you see on a lot of the YouTube videos that they get the cork up and out had been previously opened. Once you pull a cork out and then stick it back in, it oftentimes is easier to get it back out. So, he's currently opening the bottle of wine, then he's going to recork it and we're going to give it a try and see if that perhaps works a little bit easier. And here we are attempting to open it again after it had been opened and then recorked. Actually, yeah. Is it working? Yeah, okay. <gasps> Yay! So after you've already opened it, yeah, great. Fantastic. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> and so there you have it. It does work, but unfortunately it will not work if you're trying to open a bottle that has not been opened previously. It seems much, much easier to open it if you've already uncorked it and then recorked the bottle. So, good idea, kind of. Perhaps before you head off to a barbecue or picnic or out camping, you can uncork it and then recork it and show off how you can open a bottle of wine with the shoe. But to open a bottle that has never been opened with a shoe against a hard surface just does not seem like it's going to work. Anyway, write us. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. You leave a comment on the blog. Do you think this is a good idea? Have you tried it with any success? Let us know. And we're always looking for new suggestions, good ideas or bad ideas that you've found on Pinterest. So please submit any ideas you have and hopefully we can help solve whether or not it's a good idea or a bad idea. Cece here. Cheers!